Hello, my name is Angie and welcome to the Necromystic Path. So, uh, in this video I'm going to go through um, questions that were asked um, a couple of days ago now. Um, so, as witches and occultists, um, one of the things that we, well, it's, our, it's our job to do, really, is to question narratives, to unlabel things, to unlearn things, yeah. So, when you look at things like fear, um, you might, you might, question if there is even such a thing yeah <laughs> we do this a lot <laughs> because it's it's an energy that is uh, not our natural state uh, our natural frequency is one of love consciousness 432 hertz um that sounded a bit william shatner then didn't it <laughs> so what we were exploring the other day um what this energy that people call fear, that people label fear, what is it really? So what we realise is what that does when that energy comes up, it creates confusion. So I asked the question, what is the confusion mechanism, because it is a mechanism essentially, that we experience? And then from there, um, other questions came up. So. Um, when I ask that question, what is the confusion mechanism we experience? So one of the big ones for people is finances. So I did ask directly that question around uh, the confusion mechanism in regard to finances. <laughs> so uh, if you watched my video yesterday, you'll know that um, I didn't record me pulling the cards when I asked these questions. This was on the 21st. Uh, I'm not, where are we now? 20 something. Anyway, um, so it was a couple of days ago and I didn't record the actual pulling of the cards but what I realised afterwards, so I think this is actually quite pertinent to share and because I record all my readings, um, like writing here yeah, with my lovely pen, um, I can recreate what I pulled. So... Uh, obviously, I used the Normand and I and I also used a couple of other cards as well. Um, so what I got, and if I remember rightly, these cards all flew out. Yeah, um, I prefer it when cards fly out because um, it leaves nothing uh, to my own. Um, what's the word? Um, like subconscious kind of, ooh, you know, um, I, I, it's just, you know, it just works for me. Cards flying out all over the place works for me. Um, so we have snake. <laughs> Already that's an interesting, <laughs> the overall energy is on a snake. Um, we have fox, moon, house and anchor. So this energy, the over lying energy around this confusion mechanism in regard to finances especially but generally this confusion mechanism yeah is one of complication it's all very complicated it's very windy yeah it's very intricate uh and yet it's it's not it's a bit clunky actually it's a bit clunky yeah anyway um, so what I realised, um, there's a weighing down here, there's magnetism, there's, there's this kind of um, manipulation going on, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, Kind of, in, kind of insidious, if you like. Very sneaky, very... Um, 
so what I what I realised, <laughs> so we've got you know kind of a complicated um, mechanism, if you like, that winds and weaves. We've got this um, magnetic manipulation. <laughs> we've got um, a structure of magnetic manipulation, and we've got. In fact, we've got a heavy structure of magnetic manipulation, which is very confusing and causes confusion. Yeah. So what I realised is this is a um, this is hypnosis. This is basically this uh, confusion mechanism, which some people label as fear is actually a very heavy structure, so it's clunky. That's why I'm saying it's clunky, it's a heavy structure. A heavy machine isn't necessarily graceful, it can be a bit clunky, yeah? Uh, because of its heaviness. So this is a, a heavy structure of magnetic manipulation, which is very complex, not straightforward, yeah? So that immediately said to me, well, that's a very... Um, it's something that's been in place for a long time, if you like. So it's, it's complexity only comes from, you know, that, that heaviness. That makes, does that make sense? So my next question was, because <laughs> my next question obviously is going to be, well, how do we get out of it then? <laughs> How can we break it? Um, so my question I ask is, is there a way to break free, I'm just reading my notes, bear with me, of the magnetic manipulation, which is complex. And I got, let me just get these around the right way. Let's just move these up a minute. I got, these are the um, Murder of Crow Tarot, which are beautiful. Um... Weird noise. Bugging noise. Not sure what that is. Anyway, um, four of pentacles, six of cups. So the murder of Crow Tower is slightly different, their interpretation. Um, so what I got here is a calmness in the middle of all the chaos. So there's a, f a firm, being firm, yeah, standing firm, yeah. And this is kind of a slightly odd card, um, but it's basically what, what what's your reflection telling you? So, in other words, um, what is your immediate reality? So that's um, the reality that's closest to you, yeah, because uh, the other stuff out there is co-created. You know that that's the given. Um, So, yeah, what's your reflection telling you? So, <laughs> I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? <laughs> well, it partly means that if you can, while, what's that saying? Uh, well, all around you is in chaos, you know, stay firm, stay still. Be in the eye of the storm, yeah. That's kind of what that's telling me. And the reflection, well, I suppose if you're in the eye of the storm, you're going to be keeping your eyes open for the stuff that's um, being alchemized out of you, if you like. Because uh, where does it go when it, when it leaves you? Uh, well, technically it goes... Um, you can either direct it down to Mother Earth, or you can send it back to the void with love. That's entirely up to you, really. Um, but you might see it leave. <laughs> you might experience uh, a reflection of it as it leaves. Um, so you can certainly use that mechanism of, a, of uh, reflection to gauge 
where it's at yeah as you are um, breaking free if you like of this magnetic manipulation this complex magnetic manipulation <laughs> how about you guys i'm like wow we actually got an answer <laughs> we actually got an answer that's amazing so the next question i asked was um because i just wanted to double check yeah so by staying calm and checking your world reflection your world reflection yeah we can break free and i got Oh, it's just made for sure it's not the right card for me. So I got crossroads, tree, and side. Interesting. So by cutting free, sorry, um, cut free by making a long term, in other words, um, uh, choice sorry um, in other words a choice that will have an everlasting effect yeah so what would that be that would be you know something very personal to you that you know would um, liberate you yeah so I don't know, okay so let's dig a bit deeper here so the next question I asked was, what is meant by a long-term choice? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, this is fascinating, you know, we need to dig deeper here. I got birds and storks. So both are animals that fly, yeah, liberated in that way. So birds is around communication and storks is just when you um I, i'm looking at a stork in the same way as a heron yeah they are magnificent when they fly they really are but they how can i describe it um there's a a grace to them that is just amazing and they're a big bird they are a big bird so before we had a big machine that is complex yeah big mechanism that's complex that's very clunky and heavy but here we have a bird that is quite large but when they fly they're very graceful so it's it's kind of the polar opposite of each other if you like <coughs> so this to me is higher communication so, <laughs> all right, okay, I need to know a little bit more about this. So, I asked, can you show me what you mean by higher communication? And I got <laughs> higher calling. <laughs> oh, did it make me laugh? And what's really funny, higher calling, birds call, don't they? We call it bird call. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh, so I'll read this. You have within you all the courage you need to go of the past, which is what this um, magnetic manipulation, this complex magnetic manipulation, that's what that is. It's all history. Gone. But we're still living in the remnant of that, if you like. Um, let go of the past and redeem your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Wow. So. <laughs> take from that what you will. I thought this was amazing getting to the root because that's what I like to do. I, I'm, um, I should have been a detective. Um, getting to the root of what this um, energy that people call fear, especially around money, um, what is it really? What's underneath that overlay that, you know, we experience? So I really hope this has um, 
bought some illumination for you. It certainly did for me. <laughs> uh, so the way to break through, just to recap, <coughs> um, is you stay in the eye of the storm. Yeah, keep checking in. What what are you? What is your immediate reality telling you? What is leaving you? Yeah. What is um, what is being alchemized? And, you know, because the, the physical body is the last bastion before it goes completely. It's the last stop. The physical body is the last stop before something that is not aligned is gone. Yeah. Um, so, I lost my thread. <laughs> By standing firm in your, in your uh, frequency in your love consciousness, in your, yeah, uh, I'm not going to be budging from this, not one bit. When you're on your path, you know, that, on this path of expanding consciousness, ascension, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter what tries to knock you off of it, you're always going to get back up and carry on. That's my philosophy anyway. Um, so, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. So, making a choice. This is the choice. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Yeah. When you make, when you start making those different choices, choices are superpower. Yeah. Absolutely, choices are superpower. Um, and our creative energy as well is our superpower. So you create your reality by making different choices. Yeah. Um, that's how you break free of this magnetic manipulation, which is complex. Um, and absolutely, you know, your higher calling. And part of that is connecting with, you know, the part of you that is bigger and sees everything. So, yeah, what are you waiting for? <laughs> anyway um thank you for being here uh thank you for all your likes and subscribes and everything don't forget to comment um in the comments obviously uh if you found this useful i hope you have um so until tomorrow i'm gonna say stay fearless